Hi bro, welcome to day 19 of my video diary. So even though today was a standard, not very interesting, boring work day, actually something interesting happened today. And this interesting thing is that the girl that I liked said that, said that she likes me. Kinda what everybody wants. So, she's a pretty much perfect girl for me. I did this thing, you know, when you're writing the qualities of your imaginary ideal wife. Then you rate each quality from 1 to 10. And then you're getting a score from these, all these qualities. And so she has almost all of them. And the ones she doesn't have, like I can teach her, she doesn't meditate. I can teach her to meditate. So we talked a lot in the past, like, three months or two months. I know her for, what is it, four years? But we really started really talking a lot in the last three months. And so these are these months when I was the most motivated, productive, you know, doing work, that kind of stuff. Maybe that's why she liked me. I mean, probably. You know this advice that Hamza gave, like on how to, how to, how to make a girl like you. First, to be authentic. I did not hide anything from her, or anything like this. And the second thing is that you need to show that you are going places <laughs> even though it sounds stupid so like he made an example of like i don't really remember so anyway i literally showed her hamza's adonis school once you know with 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 income of two million dollars per year and i showed it to her and said look this cool guy makes a lot of money from this community and I'll fucking destroy him. I, I literally said it like this. And so I did a lot of stuff like that. So, and she sees that I'm working, actually working on my YouTube channel and doing this <laughs> like cold showers and stuff. So I guess self-improvement really works for attracting girls. There's one problem, though. She lives in fucking Kazakhstan, which is like literally on the opposite side of the world. Literally, I'm not kidding. But it's a cheap ass country, so the ticket there is, I mean, plane ticket is 2000 bucks. And with 2000 bucks, you can live there for one year. I'm not kidding. So yeah, like I can go, I can go, <laughs> I can go there now if I wanted to, or if I would be able to leave the country. I cannot leave America right now legally. So yeah, that's not a big problem. Especially, I don't think that you know dating in the internet it's is cringe because a lot of people think that dating online is cringe. But really, why? Why is it cringe? Because if you really found a good girl, like, she's literally almost perfect, then why is it cringe? Like, I don't think that I could find another girl here in America that meets my criteria. Because one of the important things that I want in a girl is that she's Russian. And because, well, I'm Russian. So where do I find a fucking Russian girl here in America? It's just impossible. So I kind of have to date, have to find girls online or just go back to Russia but hell no hell no the last thing 
I need right now for productivity is somebody in my life who will eat my time. But she's fine with it. I told her that, you know, and she kind of knows it already that I'm working on my business and I will not spend a lot of time with her. So she's fine with that. And I mean, why would why would we spend a lot of time together, you know, in the internet, talking or whatever we can we can do, play Minecraft, if I can earn money and just, you know, either bring her here or go to her. You know, talking about this, one of my previous videos where I talked about how I need to be more open in these videos, I really did not want to talk about this stuff because it's kind of a personal thing. But now, like, I think just who cares? Who cares? Seriously. And not just who cares, but this might actually be useful for for you, viewer, because you probably have some girl you want to get. Just do exactly what I did. Get into self-improvement. I mean, you probably already are. You're, you're watching my channel. You probably already are. So get motivated. Do work. The girl will see it and... She'll like you because of it. I wanted to upload... Actually, I wanted to upload videos about getting girls for a long time already. Because I have experience with it. I had like... No, bro, I had two girlfriends. But still, I have... I had two girlfriends not because I cannot get girls, but because I don't need them. They literally approach me... Like when I walk outside. Sometimes this is even annoying. When I lived in Minnesota, every single girl in school wanted to talk to me for some unknown reason. And I mean it's not not, not it's that's not that I, it's a known reason, I know the reason. So girls essentially want two things in men. Status and how to describe it like she wants to be special for a man you know special means that he will not she wants to know that he will not leave her for another girl or that she will not just you know use her and leave her that she will actually that he will actually commit to the relationships that kind of stuff but status is actually what most people don't have Status means not only... Status means a lot of things. Status is how you look, how you f how you dress. How you look is how you dress, yeah. How much money you earn. Where you stand in the hierarchy of men. Like, and actually status depends on things, on the society in which this girl lives. So like, if you're in school, then your status will, you know, your status will be measured in school. Like, even if you go to the gym and you're the, you're the coolest guy in the gym, she will not care because she doesn't go to the gym with you. So your status in school will matter. If in school you're a loser, you're like that person in class who everybody's joking about. But when you go, when you go into the gym, you are like the coolest guy there. It will not matter to her. So I really, I had a lot of success with girls in my middle school and high school years. Just because I had status because I'm not like old people. Basically, I have this weird accent. I look different. I'm tall as hell. I mean, I was tall as hell, but now I'm just average height. Mm, what else do I have? 
I was like this guy who, with whom everybody wants to talk to, but no, but I didn't want to talk to anybody. So I was this mysterious guy, you know, this mysterious type of guy. Why did everybody want to talk to me? I guess it's just because in middle school, when I went to middle school, I just recently moved from Russia and I didn't speak English that good. And so people wanted to know me, to know about me more because of it. And the same thing in high school. So I was kind of popular, but not really. And, you know, yeah. That gave me status, essentially. That's why a lot of girls like me. Hell, seriously, I have this video, I had this video recorded about getting girls, but I deleted it. I deleted it because I recorded it like half a year, yeah, half a year ago. And it was trash because I wasn't able to record a good video back then. And I thought, yeah, I will just record another one, the new one. But I never did. And actually, now I need to record the video about this topic because I really have experience in it. And this is something I can speak about. So, yeah, let's actually talk about my YouTube channel. What did I want to... There was something I wanted to say about this YouTube channel. But I forgot, yeah, as usually. And what was it? This is always happens. I always keep forgetting things I want to say. Oh yeah, right. Tomorrow is the last day this month when I'll be able to achieve this goal I have, which is 500 subscribers. Actually, no, I'll have, I'll have tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow I work, so I won't be able to actually, you know, record something. So tomorrow I have to record something that will get me, what is it, 170 more subscribers insane crazy but yeah otherwise i will not achieve my goal which is i mean which is fine because i tried but this is kind of sucks because i wanted to achieve it and i didn't but you know at least i got 70 subscribers this month which is also not bad And tomorrow is actually the last day of my monk mode. And I mean monk monk mode, the worst fucking monk mode on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. You know, seriously, now I'm thinking about it and why did I start monk mode if I can just have perfect morning routine and then eat the frog you know eat the frog means do the hardest thing that gives you most ROI return on investment like for me it's recording videos so I can just have a perfect morning routine which will give me you know mental health boost or something which will improve my mental health and right after that to just do my work for what do I have after more than four hours of work and like it will not even take me four hours to record videos is like two hours or something and so I can just have perfect morning routine then record videos for two hours and that will be the 80% I mean the 20% of effort that will give me 80% of result 
all the rest of it is just not that important. Yeah, and I started with some monk modes and stuff. Why did I even... I mean, this is useful if you want to achieve your goals faster, but I just need to achieve my goals at all right now. I don't care if it's fast or not fast. I just need to do this. And the only way is to just focus on this 20% of effort. And that's what I will do. Yeah, so thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.